time, you know, <clears throat> that you ain't gonna be able to recover from the bullshit. Right. If it apply to you, you know. I'm speaking of myself and then and, and to the other, you know, the young, yeah, basically the young brothers. Huh. You know? You know, now is the time to, to play catcher. We already, what I mean by that is the scriptures say, uh, it says redeem. The scriptures talk about redeeming the time. So we gotta basically, we gotta uh, have a mentality as if we are uh, lost time and we gotta make up for yeah. lost time. So now is that time, you know, we making up for for, uh, for uh, lost time. That's why the scriptures say it was it was in our own mind to go off. Since we went off, seek the Lord ten times more. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Yeah, cause you gotta think you if you was you even if outside of and when you came into the truth, your whole life you've been uh, learning bullshit, man, and vanity, man. Uh, uh. And it's not gonna happen overnight. You just kicking all your old ways, man. It's a battle every second we in this place, yeah. man. And you're gonna constantly have shit happening to you because we're under these curses and we're in captivity, man. But you can't let that break your spirit. Yeah, we get weak at times, you get weary, but you got that mindset of, man, I gotta fucking get it in gear. That's what the, the scriptures say, a righteous man falling yeah. seven times, uh, but, but get back up and, and fight, for lack of a better word, you know? And I'm just saying that because that's the, that's the reality of what's, what, uh, what could be heck going on with different brothers, you know? I ain't talking about two-thirds, fuck them. Right. You know? Hey, you got that? Second Corinthians You want 13. this again, or? Uh, you finish it. All right. Second Corinthians 13. Uh, no, 12 and 10. Okay. This is Second Corinthians 12 and 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, Want me to start up? Yeah, yeah. Come on. This is 2 Corinthians 12 and 7. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, Hey, real quick, man, that's why we're hasting to get the fuck out of here, man. Because we know we're in this defiled, weak flesh. We know some, uh, we uh, subject to all type of temptations and lusts, man. That we under the curse of sin. That there's no way that we can keep the law perfect in this place, man. But we under grace, man. Come. The most high showing mercy, and a lot of you niggas, yeah, I'm talking about, uh, 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 monster brother is shitting on the most high and his son, man. He's showing mercy on us, and you don't want to put it in your arm, man. Boy, yep. Verse 8. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in infirmities that the power of Yahweh Shai. Hey, hey, man, it say my strength is made perfect in weakness, man. That be when you build with the most high always breaking you down to build you up, man. Make you stay in that humble, uh, humble spirit, man. Cause you know you ain't gonna get to no point to where you can just coast. I'm straight now. And so if you do get it at the most high, knock your motherfucking ass down, man. To where you gotta get right, you damn like you starting all over again. You gotta get in that fight, man. And go hard. But that make you strong. When you fast. What are you doing? You breaking down this flesh, man. But your spirit is getting strong. Yeah, say afflict you afflicting your, your uh, soul. Huh. Go ahead, bro. Oh. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, mm. that the power of Yahweh Shai may rest upon me. Most gladly. So you should be glad to know that the Most High is dealing with you as a son, man, correcting you. 
for his name's sake and the sacrifices that you're making, man. For righteousness, not yeah, for being for a nigga, man. Yep. So y'all can call us bummer lights and all this bullshit y'all want to talk, uh, talk about, man. Now that's good, man. We ain't following no more to do to do evil. We're gonna stay on that straight and narrow path, Lord willing, man. Come on. Most of the Lord willing, we are part of the elect and we endure to the end, man. Through all the calamities and woe and evil that's coming to this place, man, that's here. And I'll be glad, man, if I'm going through fucking weeks and weeks and ain't nothing happening, man, I get, I'll be nervous as fuck. But if you know you're doing right and you, uh, you battling, you fighting, and shit happening to you, you know what it is, man. The kingdom ain't here yet physically, man. Go ahead, bro. Verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, man. in distresses, for Yahweh Shai's sake. For Yahweh Shai's sake, man. Better pour you a glass of yeah, yeah, and man the fuck up. Realize that we in slavery, man. We in captivity to this day. Yep. And a, and a big thing to help with that, I'm gonna say it again, brother. It's the brothers, man. That's yep. all you fuck. That's all we fucking got, man. Right. If you think you got anything else outside of the brothers, you 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 a damn fool. You a goddamn fool. You know if you thinking that like that shit, like you you. Dwelling on your your children or your woman or your your so-called family, they are not with you, man. They not don't they don't give a fuck about the truth at all. You know, and then when you going through uh, these these temptations and when you going through this uh, tribulation, what the fuck are they gonna do to help you get through it? No, they because they in, they in the world. Even if they do try to give you some words of encouragement, it's gonna be the uh, word the. Uh, Words from the world. Right. Yeah. You know they what I'm saying? They're gonna tell you to indulge in some type of wickedness to make yourself feel better. Right. Yeah, go on, yeah. Come, yeah. Come, yeah. Come, yeah. come to church with me. All oh, that. Uh, <laughs> they'll try to drag you in the haunted house. You know, maybe if you, maybe the reason why you're getting punished is because right. you in that, that madness you into. Yep. Maybe if you come meet my pastor, you know, things will turn around in your life. We, we not. We ain't looking for shit to turn around. Right. You know, but going through this, going through this uh, hell with, with help a brother, man, is it, 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 the brothers, man. Of course, it's the scriptures, you know, but it's the brotherhood, too. You know, when brother going through shit, that'll put a smile. Like Paul said, he take pleasures in, in infirmities and, and all the hell he had to go through. He take pleasure in it because he know that the most high dealing with him. That's how you know that the most high dealing with you. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Brakatha. That's how you know how to, that's how you know the most high dealing with you. If you're going through these problems, like if you know that you own, you doing what you're supposed to be doing. And we ain't dumb, man. If you know, if you know this doctrine, if you if you can come out and and, and, and speak this doctrine, then you know when you fucking up and when you're not fucking up. Yeah. And when you're getting punished for fucking up and when you're getting punished just for or just going through the hells that the Most High going to put on you by being in this truth. You should be able to decipher between the two. That, yep, I deserve this yeah. for some something I done done. I went off. Versus, you can't even tell. you just thinking it's all just hell from being in the truth. You know, but you're supposed to take take pleasure. And when, you, and when, when something uh, pleasurable is happening to you, you ain't down and moping and, and with a mug on your face. You 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 might you might smile or you might be uplifted in your spirit, and that happens when you with the brothers. Right? Uh -huh. When you get with the brothers, you know you see smiles on brothers' faces, brothers smiling, you know salute each other, <clears throat> and do what we do. You know get into the scriptures. Right. You know? That's why you gotta be on the same accord, man. You gotta be on the same doctrine, on the same understanding, man. Uh -huh. Sometimes you'll be down or fucked up about something. You get one of the brothers and they fucking around through the spirit 
tell you they going through the same shit. You fuck around, start laughing about it. <laughs> like, man, I'm going through the same shit right now. Well, man. sometimes you gotta get that prick. Like, nigga, what the yeah. fuck you thought right. this was about? Yeah. Huh. You know you're gonna be going through hell. Right. And then you laugh about it. Right. You know? Yep. Whether where well, uh, you know, you might have to rebuke a brother or correct a brother or tell a brother, bro, you you ain't in the right spirit. And then, you know, shake that shit out. I mean, we in the flesh, we got feelings and emotions and shit. So them, they gonna kick, they gonna get stirred up and, and, and manifest. But at the end of the day, you know, you can fight the, it helps. It helps you get through the fight when you got a brother by your side, man. Yeah. And then the time is coming where we ain't gonna have each other by our side, man. When all this hell break loose, we ain't gonna be able to, to call a brother up and, and, get, and hook up and get into the scriptures. We ain't gonna be able to get with brothers and, and, and eat, break bread right. or something. Yeah. Shit, we can barely do that now out here where we at. Yeah, Houston's so widespread, man. Do it. Ain't gonna be no, yeah, man, I'm just getting up. You about 30 minutes, I'll be over there. I mean, that's what we gotta, and I'm speaking, I'm first and foremost, I'm speaking to this, this camp. I really ain't concerned with like trying to correct no other camp. I don't know what's going on in these other camps, but I can imagine that, you know, the different camps, the younger brothers are dealing with similar situations, you know, we all are. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta make an point to do that. Fuck everything else. You gonna have your little, most I give you a little time here and there with other elements of this, you know, like, if you got kids, you gonna have to deal with them, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> But at the end of the day, you gotta deal with your brothers more and, and get into these scriptures more. Same thing if you got a woman, you know? The brother told me the other day, he said, man, that, that's what the scriptures say, but he had, he basically uh, jogged my spirit and he said, uh, all, we, all, we, all we got to do, all we got to do, man, is study. That's all the time we got. You might think, well, I got this, that, and the third to do. Yeah, we got the basic things you need to do to survive. You got to go to work, pay bills. You know, you got to eat. You got to shit, sleep. We all got to do that. You might, and the other little Esau got this system, this wicked-ass system in place, so you might be dealing with certain elements from this system, you know, whether it be child support. Shit, I'm on child support, goddamn. Yeah. That ain't nothing to deal with. I mean, it's vexing your spirit. It bring you down the spirit, but it ain't nothing you physically got to go attend to. They just going to take your damn money. Yes, uh -huh. You know? So, you no know, point point being is that, uh, it's basically you know, being with the brothers, man, around the brothers, you know, getting into these lessons, you know, and uh, coming out on the highways and byways, first and foremost, it was gonna uh, help you fight this fight, man. Like the, all your, I mean, now is the time. Yeah, you take, you, you get a breather, you know, don't kill you, overload yourself. But man, you know, these scriptures need to be opening every day. Yep. You know, it's too much to go into, man. Hebrew, uh, History, law, prophecy, prophecy, the whole Bible, man. You know, news. I, I mean, it's, it's just too much, man, it's to, for you to do. You really ain't got time to do too much of nothing else. Nope. Yep, because all it takes is one little distraction to throw you completely off track, man. It's easy to get distracted in Babylon. And one distraction, and, and, and you ain't, like what the brother said, the scriptures. Reiterate constantly. If you ain't in these, well, I'm reiterating what the scriptures say. Yeah. The scriptures are saying it, you know. Wow. The scriptures constantly tell you, man, that you gotta get this word so you can be all uh, prepared. You'll know that why this shit is happening. Like, uh, uh, just came out a second ago, man. You won't be sitting up there, uh, fucking down in the dumps because you under the cut because you don't uh, understand the curses. That's for the two thirds, man. We're sitting, sitting there, uh, fucking the scripture uh, on these things. So we're yeah. going into it. Finish that out. I got a precept. You got it? 
give me a right here. It's First Peter chapter four, verse uh, twelve. Okay. It says, uh, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you." And what's those fiery trials, man? All the tri tribulations and shit we going uh, we battling and coming up against right now in this flesh, man. All these demons that know your every lust and desire, man, and, and play on it, man. And use that against you, whether it be your weakness to family, shit, if you got a weakness to strong drink, uh, catch uh, weakness to being lazy. Yeah. Because yeah. the demons do not want to see you studying, man. They want to see you fucking off time, fucking off time. And then the scriptures say that Yahweh shines the head, it says, we being members, meaning we, the church, or the elect is the, is the body, or is the church, you know? And Yahweh Shai is the head of the, of the church. So we actually, you got to think about it, and we actually joint, we joint heirs to Yahweh Shai. We a part of Yahweh Shai. You know, we hope and pray, I hope and prayer that we have the elect, so Yahweh Shai the word. It says he come in the volume of the book. It is written to him. Therefore, we gotta we gotta be the word too. Basically, we gotta put this word in in our inward part. Right. You know. Read that one more time. Hey, grab Galatians six and nine. You got a precept? Uh, no. First Peter chapter four verse twelve. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Well, it's to try you. To try you to do what? To get you to go off, man. No, nah, it's to try to you. It's like to, to test you. You know? That's what it's saying. It's like uh, these, these these trials that you go through, these tribulations, is to, to test uh, your faith out. You know? Yeah. To see where you at. 